Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to show my bat creature and the problems I ran into after I 3D printed it. So I, as I mentioned before, I had planned on 3D printing this and I put it in the printer, the resin printer, and I found a few issues after I printed it. Some of the things that I, I knew would be a problem but I was hoping to see how um, how bad it would be after I printed it. The the gap that goes right here. Let me change this color so you can see it. This gap made things very hard when the supports were in there to cut out, and that was something that was a challenge. If I were to go into Cheetah Box, let's jump in there real quick. You can see the supports. Now, I knew it was going to be a little bit uh, difficult getting in here. And if you look, I, had, I did have supports on everything in here. I went back and tried to refine it. Everything was printed pretty, pretty clear. But the challenge was cutting this out to get a clean model and make it look uh, fresh and not so much uh, damaged on the teeth. <laughs> the teeth are very uh, cut rough and so what I want to do in this video is kind of show that what I want to what I'd like to do is open the mouth a little bit more and maybe give it a little bit more expression than a, a symmetrical um, standard look that first test was to kind of see if it would print out a few issues I guess I'll point out in this in this viewport um, when going back in I'll go ahead and outline it with the pen <clears throat> so this area was very hard to cut out and let me do a different color because it's already blue but this little space was hard to cut out with the little clippers it was leaving a little um, it cut into this base mesh a little bit a bit much and then inside of here you can see that I barely could probably fit anything in there to get the clippers to cut out this support so what I plan to do is just opening up the mouth a little bit more and probably give it a little bit more expression and going and pushing this up a little bit just to kind of give it more support so we're gonna go into ZBrush we can close this out unless I don't plan on using this model again the thing with Chitty Box is that you like these supports are good for reference and the, the reason why I'll save these files with the supports is to kind of go back and see what angle I put it at to kind of give an idea of what worked and you know, it just it's good to always kind of keep a, a track uh, like almost a digital log sure you want to quit okay so we're back in ZBrush so what I'm going to do is a transpose master and go in and open this up a bit more. But first, I'd like to push this up a little bit more too. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and select this, push it down. And transparency. Originally, I had wanted to print this separate. so that I could probably get a bigger bust of this creature. But I'm still debating that or just print it all as one solid model. But first I would like to open the mouth and get a little bit more um, support. Space in here. And then what I might do is increase the size of the teeth they seem to be a little bit um, a little too narrow for me I'll go ahead and do that before we do any symmetrical um, adjustments so let's see if we can go to the deformation we'll inflate and see what this does For this, we'll probably smooth this down a little bit. It's 
seem to fix it a little bit more. <clears throat> Might just do it a little bit, just exaggerate that. A lot of times, what I found out with printing is that sometimes it's almost better to exaggerate it than to fix it on the printer. So we'll do this to the bottom teeth. Inflate this a little bit more. Too much. Maybe I'll... Let's go back to normal. Five. We can see that kind of worked. So the teeth are a little bit bigger. So let's edit this whole character. And what I'd like to do is see if... I don't want that to be edited. I just want this. Let's go to our plugins. And for people who are new to ZBrush, it would be over here under plugins. And I would usually dock it over to the side. You're going to go to your Transpose Master. And what, what I like that it does is it drops it down to a lower subdivision for this so now we can actually edit this model and what I probably should have done is optimize this whole area it's, it's pretty much a dynamesh it could be a problem but then again I didn't plan on like animating it or anything or I was just wanting to see a print so what we're going to do is take off perspective and kind of play with this to get this mouth open a little bit more um, and see what we can do. So the transition between going back and forth of using this gizmo or using the transpose line, uh, it varies. Sometimes we'll we'll see how this goes and just put it as if it were a jaw so you can see it mask everything in here but what I like is to lasso this and get the bottom of the jaw we'll get this kind of cleaned up a little bit invert this so we got the mouth selected we will see if this will rotate out more. So now he'll have more of an open mouth. Let's see how this works with the perspective on. You can kind of see that, that might work. What I might do is actually open up his whole mouth this way and then we'll just lasso this down here turn off perspective um, probably should have did that the first time that helps from any um, selections being cut at an angle for this invert this and we'll grab all this in here And we'll smooth it out just enough, not too much. We reset this. And let's see. Might not want too much of this to be affected. Let's see what this does. Could probably. Open that up a little bit. And depending on where you put your pivot, a lot of times that'll make a difference on how your model deforms. Now hopefully this gives enough 
space to get in here and actually cut out the supports because that was that was a challenge and I really wanted to have all that detail in there to kind of look like it was this month this creature is just coming at you so the other thing we can do we can actually kind of while we're in this transpose we can we can go ahead and vary up the face I'm not really sure why I didn't do it the first time but maybe I was in a hurry but let's go ahead and do that now. We can we can we can move it just a little bit. So when things are symmetrical, like I always say, it it, it shows and I didn't really want it too symmetrical. I want it to be a little varied. Let's let's vary it up. We can pick up a little bit of this gum. And what would also help since this is on its own island, we can use uh, move. Press an M. This brush, topology brush. So you can actually, what it does is allow you to grab, if it's a poly group, you'll just grab that poly group right there. And this, I like using this brush to kind of exaggerate features. Go in here. Kind of vary some stuff up. Let's just make it a little random. Just kind of nudge things left back and forth. It's going to be showing his teeth a little bit over to this and that little print that I did was more or less a test just to kind of give an idea I wanted to know if it was gonna actually stand up too <laughs> there's there's that unknown factor of is there enough support or enough weight to be balanced when you do these prints and that's that's always a question so should I bend his ears a little bit? Eh, let's do it. He's not gonna be a little bit. He won't be too perfect, right? Let's let's, let's move him around. He's, nothing is perfect in life, so let's, let's move some stuff. Just kind of nudge. Just just vary it up. Don't have to be much. It can be just enough. Just enough to. Make it not perfect. I can turn off the perspective. I can actually gotta see these wireframes. Now he's like snarling. And is that too much? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, go back in here. Um, Hopefully that doesn't leave a pocket in there. I'm hoping that it'll actually set a little bit better. So. And even the gums, we can move those around too a little bit, right? Nothing is perfect. Sometimes the imperfections will lead to not be able to eyeball it whenever you put in this, the supports because one side will be a little bit different. But, you know, we gotta do what we can do. <laughs> so, as people's teeth are not perfect, I'm trying to vary up the teeth a little bit. Little things, little details. Since we're going to see the teeth a little bit better, right? We can. Push this out a little bit more, give it a little variation. Pull too much, and now we gotta fix the tooth. It's okay. I could probably fix it in the. I 
in the regular version of the mesh. But there we go. We got a little more dynamic opening of the mouth. So if I were to go to the before, uh, we can. We can go ahead and go here. Too far. <laughs> he turned into a star. This is what we had before. And this is where we're at now. So hopefully I can get in, cut out the supports that would be problem areas inside of his mouth. I think I'll push around his tongue just a little bit more. Just since we're in this mode, might as well do the do what we gotta do. Just kind of make it not perfect. Make it... A part of me wanted to do like spit saliva kind of hanging down, but also another part of my brain said like, is it gonna be printable? So. Either I can use like a, how would you say it, like a clear glue, and maybe do a, like a post uh, version of that spit because I want it to be clear anyway. And if, if I put it in the printer, uh, that'll just be another level that I got to do. So maybe using something clear that that would dry, and maybe a glue would work. Maybe a glue that dries clear. I'd have to do a little testing with that. But so far. We got the mouth open, eyes are a little bit, let's just, let's just, just nudge a little bit more. A little nudging, nudging, nudging. And... Let's move this just, because they're too perfect. Let's move them around, move stuff around. <laughs> let's move his throat. Too perfect monster, we gotta, we gotta give you some variations this, this, this monster features are too perfect so let's just pushing pushing little things here and there I don't want to get too far from the original of what was intended but I do want some variation in here that'll help sell the sell this idea And if I don't like it, I just jump back to the original and start over and do another one. But for what this is, this is this is opened wide enough, hopefully. And now we will go back to the original mesh and apply all these changes to that. So you can see that it goes through each layer and adjusts, uh, makes the adjustments that I did. So now you can see he opened his mouth a lot more. And then we can rotate around, look at him. Let's turn on this little pedestal. There we go. He looks more pissed and angry. <laughs> there we go. That, that seems to be more of what I was hoping for. Let's, let's see if we can jump to the first one. And I would have to do that to each layer. But we get the idea what was intended the good thing is we can go in here and go right here nope he turns a star and jump back and forth now we can kind of see uh, with the idea oh cancel with the idea of open mouth and this was very hard to get the supports out so now we've got a little bit better reach inside of here and I'll probably need to no I thought I was gonna have to add some of that detail back so the other thing that I noticed whenever I printed printing it so small some of the detail didn't cut carry over and yeah there's skin here but ZBrush and pixel logic added a new feature to where uh, there was workarounds to do to enhance these details so let's go to the deformation and there's now a contrast in here so we can go in here and add contrast to this. And let's see if that helps it anything more. Just undo it. And we'll go back real quick. We'll just see what it does. Was that enough? 
I don't know. Barely, barely anything in there. So let's let's do this again. Let's do an extreme case of 25. Let's see what this does. A little better. You can see a little bit more of the chunkiness coming back. If I were to jump back down to this one, you can see it's a little bit and increased. Because what I want the printer to do is actually show these little texture details. My concern is if I paint this, the paint kind of will soften some of these details that are there given that I'm going to kind of overlap you know some of this painting and let's see what we got it looks kind of rough and scary but from a print when you print this so small if it reads from here from a distance I'm hoping that it will read on the printer just as good Because really what I'd like it to do is to have all these details. And I've printed other objects before. But given that they've added the contrast, I, I kind of want to play with it. <laughs> I want to see what it does. I must use this new tool that they've incorporated inside of this program. So um, let's see. what You can see the computer's getting loud when it's rendering. But you can see a little bit more of the detail. Uh, part of me wants to do it just one more time and and push it a little bit more. Let's let's do it. Let's just let's see what another quarter. Another oh, too much. No, undo. I pressed enter. All right, let's do this. Twenty five from here, and let's see what it does. As long as the geometry doesn't overlap into itself, it should be fine. Did it do anything? Let's zoom in. Yeah, you can see it's crunchiness now. So if I undo that. Do we want that? Let's see. It reads. It reads pretty pretty heavy. I like it. But right here it's starting to look a little uh a little too crunchy. So we'll take it back down. Cause like I said, the painting, if I, if I get to the painting part of this and I'm hoping to airbrush it or something, the tricky part about airbrushing right now is that the weather it has been, we're in winter and <laughs> I usually paint outside. So it's, it's raining right now and it's weather's been up and down. So it's hard to detect what the weather will do. But in the meantime, we can still print inside and then get it ready for the the nicer days coming along so I think we'll go ahead and go with this we'll go let's see right there is that what we want uh, part of me says it's too much but then another part says it might just be enough I think this will work. Uh, looking at it, let's let's do one more render. Let the let the computer show what we're seeing. Kind of get an idea. Look at that profile. It's, it's not symmetrical anymore. That was kind of bothering me when I printed it. It was too perfect. And when you see perfection, you just, you just want to see a little bit, a little more chaos in there. So the computer's ramping up. You hear the little fan spinning. It's gonna do a little quick render. But just given what I'm hoping to do, it's gonna it's hopefully this works. So now we can kinda get a feeling that those those textures will show through whenever I print it. I'm gonna put it into a th the 3D slicer and add supports and then we'll hopefully get to the next point of where I want to be 
But that's what I wanted to show today. I wanted to show where my issues were coming from, what I'm planning to do on the next phase. I'm going to put the supports inside of ChutiBox and go from there. Um, the support phase is something that's kind of a, a drawn out process. I might do a, a, a separate video showing that later on. Um, maybe speed it up because that, that takes a little bit of time just if I'm going to put it by hand. There was an update. There's a beta version that's updated in it, but I don't know if I want to try it. I think what's working now has been pretty good to me. And even the print worked good. It was just the supports were so hard to get out of there <laughs> that I wanted to get this get this taken care of so I can actually have something running in on the printer and have it going so that's most of this video I just wanted to show where um, my issues were coming from what happened when I printed it and where I'm trying to get it to a point I could probably print that base as a separate piece and get a bigger print but uh, I think for now I just want to see if these details hold and if it just and if it'll be to my liking really so that'll be the end of this video for today I know it's a kind of a short video but I just wanted to show where I'm at and what's going on with this little bat creature and the intention so thank you for watching if you you know hopefully something stood out as informative in this video it was so Thanks again.